Hello dear students I hope all of you are doing well Today we are going to learn about scope and limitation of statistics and importance of statistics in economics With that we will complete chapter 1 introduction to statistics So let's get started Scope of statistics Statistics is the discipline that deals with collection presentation analysis and interpretation of data The scope of statistics is very immense Statistical tools are used in various fields like economics, accounting, management, physics, psychology, etc. Now let us look at scope of statistics in detail. First, descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics is the process of summarizing and presenting data. It presents complex data in a simplified form. Second, inferential statistics. Inferential statistics is the process of making predictions and generalization about a population based on a sample of data. It provides techniques for the testing of hypotheses. A hypothesis is a statement or prediction that is tested through research. Third, informed decisions. Statistics is used to make informed decision based on facts expressed in statistical terms. For example, businesses use statistics to track changes in consumer behavior and planning effective marketing campaigns. Fourth, statistics helps to condense data into few numerical measures such as mean, variance, etc. This facilitates comparison of different data sets. Further, relationship between two or more phenomena can also be studied with the help of statistical measures. Fifth, research statistics is a fundamental tool for research it is used to design experiments collect and analyze data and draw conclusions based on the results sixth forecasting statistics helps in forecasting statistical forecasting implies the use of data to project what can happen in the future such forecasting is of immense importance for formulation of plans and policy which requires the knowledge of future trends thus we can conclude that statistics is a powerful tool that has a wide range of applications in various fields its ability to analyze and interpret data makes it an essential tool for decision making research and problem solving statistics plays a major role in economics it helps in identifying different economic problems when economic facts are expressed in statistical term they become exact such data are more convincing than vague statements using various statistical method we can find the causes behind the problems faced by the economy after a better understanding of the causes analysis of data helps in solving these issues by formulating appropriate economic policies now let us take an example Poverty is a problem faced by many economies. Statistics can help examine this problem and look for probable solutions. First step will be collecting data on various aspects of poverty and then identifying the causes based on the data. Unemployment, illiteracy, low productivity, etc. may be some of the major causes leading to this problem. Next, analysis of data will help the authorities to choose the most appropriate solutions such as creating more job opportunities, providing educational facilities, training, etc. Now let us look at some of the points of importance of statistics in economics. Statistics helps in formulation of policies by the government. Statistics helps in formulating different economic laws such as the law of demand, law of supply, etc. by using methods of generalization. Statistics is used to understand and solve different economic problems. Statistics is also used for forecasting. Statistics is useful to understand different market structures and trends in the behavior of consumers as well as producers. Limitations of statistics point number 1 Statistics deals with only aggregate of facts or item and it does not recognize any individual item point number 2 Statistics is unable to study qualitative characters like honesty punctuality kindness etc 
statistics can only provide information about the variables that are measurable so important variables may be overlooked leading to inaccurate conclusions point number three statistics can be easily manipulated to support a particular agenda this can happen when data is collected by inexperienced persons or they are dishonest or biased this can lead to inaccurate conclusions or misinterpretations of data statistics largely deals with averages and these averages may be made up of individual items radically different from each other for example if the average mark of two students for three tests is the same say 30 it does not mean that both of them have scored the same marks there may be much variation between the two while the marks of student a might have increased from 20 to 30 and then to 40 student b's marks might have decreased from 40 to 30 and then to 20. statistics are only as accurate as the data on which they are based if the data is incomplete, the statistical analysis may not provide an accurate representation of the population being studied. There is possibility of errors in statistical analysis, but it is difficult to identify whether an error has been committed or not. The technique of statistics are not easy to use. These can be used by experts only having sufficient knowledge of applying the techniques. Statistical laws are not as accurate as the scientific laws. They are based on probability and can only provide an estimation. We have completed a very important chapter today. You need to be thorough with this chapter as you can expect many objective type questions from this portion. I have a good idea for you. Next time you are with your friends, why don't you try some quiz and see who can answer the most number of questions. In the next tutorial, we will move on to the next chapter, which is on collection of data. So stay tuned by subscribing to my channel. If you find the video useful, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.